All right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Shane. So let's cover a few things today. We got the market still looking very, very good for Bitcoin. You know, we're sitting at 64.2 right now, literally at a heavy resistance, you know, on the day that we've had multiple attempts. Why don't we zoom in a little bit to see? Because honestly, I think if we're gonna break out to the upside, it's probably going to be right around here within the next 24 hours, maybe less. Um, so zooming in though real quick, you know, as you can see, we just have insanely heavy bullish momentum, consistent higher highs, higher lows, right? So again, if this can maybe do something like that, if this breaks into 65, 66, I think this is gonna flip the entire market into full blown super bullish in a sense where you know, now we got the entire, you know, structure flipping on the chart from, you know, fairly bearish into bullish again, which is going to be, like I said, very bullish for the overall market. And I just think, like I said, I think it's very important to be focusing and continuing to allocate into bags now, you know, I personally think, you know, I'm going to pull up some stuff with some AI coins also because we've seen AI coins now you know finally have a huge push to the upside but um you know let me do this in a minute here so I do want to pull up you know we got the the others chart so the crypto total market cap excluding the top 10 so something I like to show and something that I did notice you know when it comes to technicals, uh, let me see. I think I flipped this inverted as well. No, I didn't. Okay. So as far as any momentum right here, we are seeing the crypto, the total market cap showing very good strength to the upside, showing that this momentum actually wants to flip for altcoins right now. And in my opinion, it's a very, very good thing to see. And so again, the main factor that's going to be a huge deciding factor is going to be if we can break this, you know, previous lower high, flip bullish, maybe it goes to 230 billion, 240 billion, you know, kind of bounce down, turning into a bullish structure again. You know, what I like to do though, which is what I wanted to pull up, is we have this momentum here, which I like to look at charts. You know, a lot of you guys looking at it might be like, what is this dude saying? What is he talking about? But we do have some momentum, including like on this RSI as well. So as you can see, we're making lower lows and lower highs on the RSI, you know, indicating downside. So usually when you have the RSI pulling some sort of move, whether it's up or down, that you can clearly tell, the RSI is usually the pointing indicator in which where the market wants to head, especially on a higher time frame, it's a lot more accurate. And the reason why I have these arrows though, is we got the momentum here going down now from the RSI. You know, it's actually from August, RSI now, again, this is inverted, so keep it in mind, going down here. Because I personally, you know, I've looked at charts for so long, I can tell certain things about a chart when they're upside down. It makes, a lot of people might be like, bro, what are you saying? But I can look at charts and just get a better understanding of what it looks like in formations and patterns when it's upside down. But for me, we got heavy momentum. And again, it's inverted here, but this momentum is very bearish. Again, meaning that we're about to dump. It's probably, it might come up one more time until we see a giga nuke to the downside. Again, which inverse means that we're about to probably see some sort of pump, right? In my opinion, you know, if we see this structure get broken, which looks like it very much so wants to break, um, you know, I think if we see this get broken, we'll probably get a, not a retest back up to the structure. Maybe it comes up a little bit, bounces, you know, then we'll just see heavy rejections into another leg. It's gonna look something like this. If we're going to be, you know, breaking the structure, and actually starting like, you know, these 
all these altcoins to start having a nice move, right? But, you know, if we start to see heavy rejections here, it might be a different story. But like I said, to me, it looks like our momentum, you know, following this trend line is definitely being broken finally. So I think, you know, we're probably going to bounce around here in some sort of case until we finally have a huge push breaking this entire general momentum, right? And so again, when we, when we look at it to the upside, right, it's, it looks kind of like this, you know, because once momentum really starts to flip, we're probably going to see, again, maybe it breaks to something like this, bounces, rounds out, maybe it drops one more time, you know, until we see you know, like a nice push to the upside, right? So in my opinion, you know, the chart's looking good, the RSI divergence looks good. You know, I usually, I don't like to use really almost any indicators most of the time. The RSI though, in a long-term time frame, is a very, very strong indicator in crypto. You know, it's it just signals, you know, very good momentum in the market and where it's, you know, generally, potentially going to be heading. But, I mean, as you can see though, the reason why I wanted to bring that up with Bitcoin is Bitcoin looks like it's pulling the same momentum and it's about to just break the other way. AKA Bitcoin's probably going to start breaking into the upside. Chart looks obviously a little bit different but I think we're, we're facing the same exact idea, right? Where if you look at it here, let's see if the RSI is pulling the same thing. I'm not too sure. So I guess the RSI in a sense is because I mean, again, upside down, you know, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. But then this did not break into a new higher high, right? So we got this momentum kind of chilling, but now if we break this structure, making a lower low, that is going to be a clear indicator that this high time frame structure is going to be forming. We'll probably get a pullback, you know, into an area where there's heavy buy opportunity until we, you know, break this momentum, something like this chart easily could look something like this. If we're going to be getting very bullish literally within the next month, right? But um, like I said, very similar. And again, it's all going to come down to right now is what happens in these next few candles. If we're going to break here, if we're going to reject for two more days and then have a nuke, you know, to the actual downside. You know, it's, it's going to be a telling sign. But either way, I think any major dips from here, if we do have a dip, something like this, I think that's going to be probably one of the last opportunities for very, very good altcoin entries right you know and we've just seen BitTensor have a huge run over the last you know week or so which has been very good to see right um, but at the moment um, you know there are a couple coins that I wanted to bring up that you know I consistently bring up a lot of coins in the channel you know a lot of them that I'm very bullish on but you know I think it's gonna be very important to be paying attention to um, a lot of high cap stuff as well. You know, we even have Sui up 8%. This is on a tear right now. So it's currently at 166. I do expect, you know, probably some sort of pullback. But at this point, if not, this may end up just running into a new high. But Sui has been a great, um, seems like a great blockchain overall. You know, heavy VC action going on with it, but. Sui, in my opinion, is probably one of the strongest newer layer ones that, you know, over the last month or so, I've just been very bullish on lately. And then also BitTensor, like I said, with their smart contracts coming, you know, it's been a clear indicator that I think the market, once we start to move forward, sp specifically with AI coins, I think anything that's kind of a BitTensor beta play is going to be is going to make it killing, right? And I'm not talking about now because we're already seeing a lot of those BitTensor beta plays start to move. But I think once, you know, if BitTensor really breaks into almost like the number one um, AI spot, which it kind of is already, I expect a lot of BitTensor beta plays to have incredible pumps. And I think that might be the next main major AI narrative to be paying attention to going forward over the next few months.
you know, I just mentioned that in the, the last video talking about it. But outside of that, like I said, I think, you know, I've been focusing on a lot of high cap stuff lately because it's usually a telltale sign in the market. You know, what kind of narratives are really trending? Basically, what's going on, right? And we even have Ondo here too. Ondo is a strong high cap bet in the market. Yeah, same thing. Let's just had incredibly clear RSI um, divergence. Meaning, again, the in um, when it comes to the RSI, when the momentum on the RSI is heavily to the upside, but the price action is showing downside, that's where divergence happens. Because now we got a heavy push up. You can see by, you know, if you look at the lows here, we had literally had the low all the way back in August. Did not come down and break that low. It's actually making a higher low. Our momentum is clearly to the upside, but yeah, what was price action doing? You know, if you take out the wick, you know, it, it was still just steadily going to the downside, right? And then what happens here? Price still hasn't even actually broken its previous um, higher low yet. So if this can actually break, this is gonna be a clear indicator that Ondo's probably gonna start moving, you know, fairly bullish as well going forward, right? And again, same thing. When you look at a lot of majors and what majors do in the market, um, they're usually a telltale sign of what other coins or basically like what other narratives are going to start really pumping. Because like I just said, we saw BitTensor, huge pump, right? And what did most AI coins do over the last week? They've pumped like crazy, right? And again, most of them are still literally at their lows, like bottomed out. Or some of them are just on dips. They finally broke that, you know, bearish structure slash accumulation range. <clears throat> but like I said, I think depending on what certain major coins do in certain narratives is usually a telltale sign for the narrative overall. So if we saw Ondo, you know, break, if we saw Ondo pull a huge candle, right, up to $1.20, $1.30 over the next two weeks, we could expect that um, RWA coins are probably going to have a huge run at some point. And usually what that would mean though is, you know, there's been some super bullish news on Ondo, right? Or very bullish news on the RWA sector, tokenization, you know? Larry Fink's a huge bag pumper, right? For RWA stuff, tokenization. So usually if he's talking about something, you know, maybe he's announced something or a company is associated with has announced, you know, a ton of tokenization on the blockchain, whatever, it is, whatever it is, you know, a lot of times major catalysts like that catapult a lot of the, you know, narratives to actually start a huge run. And then from there, that's where, you know, low caps really flourish. So like I was saying, outside of that, I think altcoins look very good to be allocating into. I think anything that even looks remotely like this, there's just bottomed out downside, you know, just really start paying attention and thinking about allocating to just setting and forgetting. Even if we do see more and more downside, it's like, in my opinion, I think this market is just looking primed to make another massive, massive run over the next probably couple months, right? You know, we're starting to see some good action as well from high cap memes. You know, Whiff has had a huge move. Because honestly, the Whiff chart looks exactly like that, right? It looks like it's about to break, you know, and want to start a new, you know, bullish formation, right? Because again, if we just consider this some sort of range, you know, it's starting to break out. You know, I wouldn't consider it a full clean break yet. I mean, this is kind of equal highs. But... We got momentum really pushing to the upside here, right? And in crypto, what I've noticed is how often crypto momentum follows. You know, it's it's kind of rare to see momentum do this, you know, and then have a clean fake out and just, you know, nuke down. Momentum often does follow it fairly well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this, you know, break into it, you know, way over $2, maybe 220 before it would, you know, have some sort of pullback or something. The whiff looks good, and I think again that's going to be a signal too for the overall meme coin markets 
or at least meme coins on Solana right now, because a lot of them are very bottomed out at the current moment, could be a great time to be jumping into coins like Michi, jumping into coins like, you know, even high caps if you want. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say Popcat currently because it's, it's basically running for all time highs at the moment. But, um, you know, just jumping into a lot of uh, meme coins on Soul, like I said, like Michi, in my opinion, is still a very strong meme coin. You know, it has a ton of potential just to really make another leg up at some point. You know, I, I personally try to stay away from like the newer narratives, you know, like the narrow, the Nero narrative. I honestly, I'd say probably a good narrative, but when there's 19 different Nero coins, I'm staying completely away from that. Like the new launches like that on Soul, you know, you can get lucky on a lot of them. I feel like it's very high risk. But um, like I said, just there's a lot of different meme coins, very bottomed out. Even Retardio is now back down to, I think it's at 60 million now. Finally making a nice, you know, little recovery from the lows. But um, Mumu as well looks very good here. Mumu I think is... You know, I, I don't like to do price targets, honestly, on the channel, but I think Mumu's going to be a top performing meme coin on Solana. I think easily this is going to a billion plus, <clears throat> you know, in the long term. I think this is going to have an incredible bull run. And again, it's probably going to see just random momentum. Probably have heavy pullback into a nice pump. You know, wh whatever the chart looks like, you know. I, 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 I think Mumu is a top meme coin on Solana right now. Zero doubt in my mind about that. You know, and that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. Again, like, I'll just keep saying this, guys. It's, you know, you really should be allocated into some um, coins that you firmly believe in. You know, coins on dips, especially when a momentum shift is about to happen in the overall market right now. Lots of coins, specifically AI, you know, they've shown strength. But I'm kind of expecting some sort of pullback, some sort of downside, um, you know, before they really would start, you know, these this next massive blow off top like run with AI, which is not going to happen yet until we get ETH sold Bitcoin, you know, well into new highs, well into price discovery. But for the time being, you know, they're looking very good. I do expect a lot of pullbacks for a lot of AI coins, like I just said. But even if you're waiting on those, that's going to be your time to enter. If you're waiting on meme coins, you know, I'd recommend just finding really good ones that are bottomed out. Like the one I, ones I just mentioned, Mumu and Michi look very good. <clears throat> you know, just being patient, like make those your conviction bets and just, you know, just chill. Like it's way easier than trying to you know trade your coins every day for something else that's where most of your gains are going to come from in a bull run it's just holding being patient in the right coins with the right mind share attention right you know i really feel like it's at this point it's just accumulating and it's going to be as easy as that for a lot of you guys to make you know really good gains life-changing money <clears throat> So outside of that, that is what I wanted to cover in this video. You know, depending on your what narratives you like to be allocated into, I honestly I've been getting I've been focusing almost solely lately on meme coins and AI. I think they're going to be the top performing assets or top performing narratives this bull run as of lately, um, and that's where most of my capital is parked at. Um, and again, I'm not. I think Bitcoin, DeFi, and RWA will have incredible runs as well <clears throat> but i think currently they are a little bit under the radar but again i think in time they will easily have their moment and probably outperform a lot of different coins in many different narratives too you know those are the four narratives i think are super bullish and also gaming of course i have some gaming tokens but all five of those narratives will do very well this cycle you know, once we get into a blow off top slash, you know, mainly a euphoric like run, you know, people are just going to buy anything with the word AI in it. You know, they'll buy any, any gaming token that says gaming in it. 
you know, any coin that, you know, is working on a game, whatever it is, it's just speculative pumping and dumping at that point. You know, because everyone at that point, once the market starts to get really heated up, everyone just wants to, you know, get in early. So they all just FOMO in over each other. That's, you know, that's kind of why it's important to be jumping into great projects at the lows and just literally riding it out, right? So honestly, I, I think we're in for a very good, you know, next six to 12 months. You know, I'm here for it. And I'm just going to be patient with, again, maybe 95% of my bags. Because I also love to focus on new launches, <clears throat> which, you know, I don't know if many people watching know that, but I love focusing on new launches, specifically new AI coins that launch. Incredibly high risk, but um, it's just something I, I really love finding and jumping into and stuff. But like I said, I think 95% of your portfolio allocated to blue chip stuff or even just coins that you believe in. Whether you can take this one, Mumu, Michi for memes, you know. Retardio is my personal other highest conviction meme coin going forward. Um, as far as on Solana. <clears throat> Mog is my top meme coin on Ethereum, you know. You can just pick certain coins and different narratives. Just, you know, pick a couple, run with them. Make those your, you know, your top bags, right? I think that's just going to be the easiest way to absolutely print this cycle. So outside of that, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.